I'm so thrilled about finding out about my past that I have to deliver the news in person. So I'm on my way to Iowa. But the first stop is in Galena, Illinois. It was the home of General Ulysses S. Grant and his presidential headquarters to ask my friend Andy Blankenbaker about Civil War history. Andy, I came to Galena because you live here and my family's from Dubuque, Iowa. And I have some stuff in my history about my great-great-grandfather being shot uh, in the Battle of Vicksburg, but you know a connection to Vicksburg right from here in Galena too, which is just east of Butte, don't you? Yes, it was um, Grant. He joined the Union forces for the Illinois Volunteer Infantry Regiment. And they head down to Vicksburg, Mississippi. Correct. My great-great-grandfather's with them, and that's the turning point of the war, isn't it? Correct. Hey, that's the same battle where my great-great-grandfather was shot. The reason why Vicksburg was a turning battle was uh, we got the control of the Mississippi River. And they made the cannonballs that helped the Union win the war. Galenus minus the cars still looks like it did in the 1860s. You actually can see this town in the movie, The Field of Dreams, when Kevin Costner finds Burt Lancaster. We got some hills in Iowa. It's ironic then that when we arrive in Dubuque, we go to the only shot tower west of the Mississippi that made musket balls for the Civil War. This is the Dubuque Shot Tower. It was built way back in 1856. What they do is they take lead all the way up the top, molten lead. They drop it through a grate. When it falls through the grate and falls five stories, it creates a perfect sphere, a bullet, a musket ball when it cools in a vat of water at the bottom. It's kind of ironic that a musket ball from a shot tower like this is the one that shot him in 1863. It is a perfect town for reminiscing. Majestic views from a thousand foot cliffs over the big river. Dozens of eagles dot the landscape and sky. There is even a 19th century cable car to remind me of the past. We find Mount Calvary Cemetery. Somewhere around here. And there find the grave that Ancestry found. He's buried in Dubuque, Iowa, so the next time you go there, you can you go and visit his grave. Yeah, J.J. White, Company E. Wow. We found it. Check the other side of this. And I was surprised. All the graves of the kids are there too. Everybody's here. Arnold, Charles, 1870. So the whole family is right here. My great great grandfather's buried here more than a hundred years ago. Next, we visit my family. Yeah. Is she gone? Oh, she died, yes, of course. Because she was born in 1894. 